Hello and welcome to Art with Mr P. This week we're looking at colour, another visual element. Last week we looked at line, this week we're looking at colour. We're going to be using paint. Now we're going to be looking at organic forms as well. We're going to be looking at leaf shapes and all, all the different sorts of shapes you get when you look up into the trees. We're going to be talking about warm colours and cool colours. We're going to be talking about primary colours and how when we mix two primary colours, we make a secondary colour. Let's do it. OK, we're going to start by drawing some leaf shapes. So I'm thinking something like that, and maybe one down here, something like that. Now, we looked at line quite a lot last week, didn't we? And we might have one going underneath. Looks a bit like a feather, that one, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. So remember with line, if the line joins up, we then create shape. But this week, of course, we're looking at colour. So what I'd like you to do, first of all, is once you've created a range of leaf shapes, I would like you to fill in three of the leaves. Now, I'd like you to fill in one of the leaves in one of the primary colours. So I'm going to fill in this leaf in yellow. Now, I'm doing this quite quickly because I've been practising. Yeah? You might want to take a little bit longer and you actually you might want to do it a bit more carefully and take a little bit more time. Yeah. So there's one of my primary colours on there. There's my primary colour leaf, the yellow one. So we've got yellow on there. Clean my brush, keep the colours pure. I'm going for another primary colour. Okay, I think I'm going to make it this one. So here's my other primary colour. So our first primary colour was yellow. Our secondary primary colour is blue. On it goes. Now going as carefully as I can, but try not to use up too much of your time. Trying to stay inside the lines, yeah. Okay, so we got a blue leaf there. Wonder if I can, if I flatten this brush out, maybe I can do the stem bit too. All right, and clean the brush again, keep our colors pure. So we got two of the primary colors there, yellow and blue. Dry my brush off nice and clean. What's the third primary colour? Oh yeah, red. So I go and get some red paint. This is going to be a tricky one. Right, okay, so run it goes. A bit more water, I think. Run it goes. In and out. A bit like a kind of oak tree leaf, oak leaf. Equal. There it is. So we've got the third of our primary colours on here. We've already got the yellow, we've already got the blue, and we've nearly got the red. So I'm shooting around here as quickly as I can. I expect that you will take much more care over this because you won't have practised as often as I will have done. I've had many decades of practice. So we've got our three primary leaves. Now I'd like to produce secondary leaves as well, yeah? And what I mean by that is, if we mix two of the primary colours, so I take a bit of yellow and I put a little bit of blue in it, it becomes, well, it becomes leaf colour. Except that you and I know that often when you look up at leaves, if you look really closely, they're often not very green, they're quite yellow or blue or white or all sorts of colours. Yeah? So here's my fourth leaf. And 
I've created this green by mixing two of the primary colours. Yeah, I've mixed the yellow and the blue, and that has given me this secondary colour of green. There it is. Right, I clean my brush again. Now, artists, there are a few local artists actually who are very, very good at producing pictures of leaves and green and nature and plants and things. Yeah, uh, straight to mind comes Hazel Campbell, uh, and you've got uh, Julie Dunbarton, um, further afield, you've got someone like Angie Lewin who produces magnificent prints, and of course, there's Myers Koff as well. Now, We've got the yellow, the blue, and the red primary colours. We've mixed yellow and blue and made green. Let's mix blue and red. So I take a little bit of blue, just a little bit, and I add in the red, mix those up, and I get, of course, I get secondary colour. Yeah, I get this purple colour. So in it goes, I fill in this leaf in this purple. Oh, that's a bit blue still, isn't it? Got to be careful here yeah, because often blue is very strong, yeah, very strong pigment, and it takes over, it takes over the colours, yeah. So actually, that's quite nice, isn't it? Because you can see how you can get different kinds of purple, yeah, if you don't quite mix the paint like I've done. Okay, so we got a purple leaf there. All right, I want to clean my brush again. Make sure it hasn't got any of the old paint on it and dry it on a piece of old paper towel. Right, so what are we missing? We've got, we've created the green by mixing the yellow and the blue. We've created the purple by mixing the red and the blue. So the third option is to mix the red and the yellow to create another secondary colour here. Yeah? So I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to add a little bit of red into it and we create secondary colour here, yeah, yeah, of orange. So the red and the yellow together make the orange colour here. Yeah? So I'm going to fill in the last leaf on here. Now in orange. Now, this is very good practice for using a brush, isn't it? Yeah. Trying to get into all these little bits, nooks and crannies on this leaf. There it is. Of course, what colour are leaves? Well, someone might well say green, but of course, quite often, certain trees in the autumn they're not in the least bit green, are they? They're much more orange. And some tropical plants, of course, have unbelievably colourful leaves, don't they? Yellows and oranges and purples and what have you. Okay, so we've got, here we've got our six leaves, different shapes, mostly. It looks a bit like a blue banana, doesn't it? But there we are. Okay, I clean my brush, make sure it's all nice and clean. Now, so we use the primary colours to make secondary colours. Of course, some colours look warm, so the colours that make you think of the sun or or the or a fire, yeah. So we got warm colours with the reds and the yellows and the oranges, yeah. And to a certain extent the purples, yeah. And then some colours we describe as cool, cool colours, yeah, colder colours. So it's the blues. And the greens, yeah. So, if you want to follow this up, you might want to look at the work of Angie Lewin, or Hazel Campbell, Julie Dumbarton, two of those local artists, yeah. And we've been looking at the primary and the secondary colours. Now, there's no reason why you can need to stop there. You could produce a whole load of more leaves. Yeah, go outside, have a look at leaf shapes. If you can go outside, that is. Anyway, there we have it. Well done. So this week, 
we've looked at another visual element that we've looked at color we've looked at warm colors we've looked at cool colors we've looked at how when you mix two primary colors the basic colors yeah you get a secondary color and we've looked at how we can fill shapes to make a whole range of interesting colors now next week we'll be looking at collage now i'm hoping that some of you can remember what collage is and where the word originates or where it comes from if you've got some paint left over paint a few sheets of any kind of paper let it dry and we'll be able to use those next week in your collages otherwise collect some uh, newspapers uh, magazines and uh, we'll also be able to use those next week in our collage week. Well done.